Hi guys, I'm Francesca. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're doing two vegan Mexican inspired recipes. The first one are vegan chimichangas and the second one is a queso blanco dip. I need to give a big thank you to one of my followers, Cassidy, because she suggested the viggy, viggy, <laughs> the vegan chimichanga. So thank you to Cassidy for that. I figured these would be perfect because Cinco de Mayo is coming up, which if you didn't know, Cinco de Mayo is not Mexican Independence Day. It is actually um, a celebration from when the Mexican army defeated the French army in the Battle of Puebla. Puebla. I can't pronounce it. But just a fun fact for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy these recipes and let's get into it. All right, so to start this off, we are going to add some oil and some onion that I chopped up into a pan, and we're going to cook that for like two to three minutes on a medium heat. Then I'm adding in some vegan ground beef. I used the Beyond Meat one. And then finally, some refried beans. Be sure to check your refried beans. Sometimes they have like meat or lard in them, so just double check that there's nothing in there, and it's vegan friendly. So then I'm going to just season it with some taco seasoning and chili powder, and just cook that for about five to seven minutes just to get everything warmed up and kind of melted and mushed together so now we can assemble our chimichanga so i took a medium-sized flour tortilla then i'm adding some of the mixture that we made in there you don't want to overfill it because otherwise it'll explode and we're just going to roll it up and i made three of these from the amount of filling i used so traditionally chimichangas are deep fried i didn't do it for this but i just wanted to show you quickly how you would do it or kind of explain it so i'm just going to take one of the chimichangas and put a toothpick in it and essentially all you would do is then take this little burrito put it in like about two cups of vegetable oil fry it on each side for two to three minutes until it is golden brown and that's really it if you need a frying tutorial then check out my vegan mozzarella sticks recipe but instead today I decided to bake them so to do that all I did was take a little bit of olive oil and used a silicone brush and just put it on each side brushed it on made sure it was coated really good in oil um, just because obviously it is usually deep fried so I was trying to mimic that without actually deep frying it so give it a good coating of oil but it makes it a lot healthier and we're going to bake those in the oven at 400 for about 15 minutes until everything's golden brown. So in the meantime, I made a really quick guacamole. I just took half an avocado, some onion, some tomato, some lime juice, some red pepper flakes, a little bit of salt and pepper and just mix that up together. Really easy, it just adds another nice flavor, get some healthy fats from the avocado. And then after the chimichangas were done, I just took some Monterey Jack vegan cheese and I let those sit in the oven for a few minutes so the cheese got melted. Then on top, I'm taking some vegan sour cream. I used the Tofuti one and just drizzled that on there, added a little extra cheese, some of the guacamole and some fresh tomatoes and that was it. These were so good. I was actually really impressed with them. I'd never made chimichangas before at all. So I was really impressed with how they turned out and the filling is really nice and soft. The crispy tortilla and the guacamole and the tomato just works really well together. To start this off, I'm taking half of a jalapeno, some bell pepper, some red pepper chili flakes, and some chili powder and cooking that in a little bit of oil until everything gets nice and sauteed just for about five to 10 minutes on a medium heat. And while that's cooking, we are going to make our cheese sauce. So I'm taking cashews that I soaked for about three hours, some water, some garlic powder, some salt, tapioca starch, and nutritional yeast. And we're going to blend that up. You may want to add in more water as it's blending, but we're looking for something really, really smooth and creamy looking like this. And then into the pan, I'm adding some almond milk and our cheese cashew mixture that we just made. And I also grated in some vegan mozzarella. You can use any sort of white vegan cheese that you like, like the Monterey Jack would be great for this as well. And then we're just going to cook it pretty much. We're just gonna keep mixing it until everything gets nice and melted. You may need to add in some more almond milk, but we're looking for a really, really smooth, cheesy, creamy consistency. And this came out perfect. It was so delicious. You really need to try this. It's like absolutely amazing and it's so easy to make. And that's pretty much it. You can just serve it up with some tortilla chips and it does have a little bit of a kick to it. So if you don't want it to be super spicy, don't add the jalapeno in. But yeah, that's it. It's really delicious, really easy. And I promise nobody would 
say no to this because it's really, really freaking good. All right, guys, so those were our two recipes. I really hope you enjoyed them. If you tried them out, please be sure to take a picture, DM me them on Instagram, tag me, post it, whatever you like to do, whatever you feel comfortable with, but I love seeing your recreations. As always, the full recipes and all my social media is listed down below in the description box. And next week, I'm going to do a Q&A on YouTube, so send me some questions, DM them to me, comment them down below, however you want to send them, but send me some stuff. It could be about anything you want. If you did like the video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday with another video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!